thank you, Jacob, for that uh, unboxing segment. That's a really cool, uh, really cool tool, the tool that I think uh, a lot of people, hopefully you got something out of that. Uh, so next, uh, something I wanted to chat a little, a little bit about, and kind of, you know, Sundance made me, made me think about this. And this is sort of the, the world that we're in now with digital distribution. So, Absolutely. you know, one of the big things at Sundance this year was that, um, you know, Amazon and Netflix were buying up some some films like spending major major dollars on films. I believe really? Amazon spent twelve million dollars to acquire a uh, a film there. I'm you know the name of the film wow. is blanking, but uh, somebody will find that and they'll throw it over the over the top of what we're talking about uh, <laughs> right here in the, in the edit later on. Uh, you know Amazon was spending big money, Netflix is spending big money, and so what that's doing is that's driving up the price of these uh, these indie films. Wow. And then you've got distributors like uh, you know Sony Pictures Classics and Fox Searchlight, who are your typical you know, indie distributors, that, mm -hmm. um, then that's making them spend more money. Gotcha. Um, you know, and, and it's really interesting. So <coughs> Amazon, I think, is, is the company that everybody needs to, to watch out for. So you know, Netflix, is, Netflix is the one everybody's talking about, and they're both putting out really killer content, really great stuff that you, know, you, yes. you want to watch. Have you seen Stranger Things? No, yet? no. Oh, oh, yes, I did, yes. actually. I, I saw I the pilot say, episode. I, Phenomenal. The pilot. That's it. You've only seen that's the, all the first I episode. I was so good, man. I've have started watching ah. it again. Just watch the whole thing. There's so much mm -hmm. to watch, but that show is great. That's the first a, one. I'm I'm hooked, man. Yeah. The it, Crown on Netflix. What a great show, and that's winning a bunch of awards now yep. as well. So you know you've got these shows like this and yep. uh, Amazon, The Man in the High Castle. Yes. On Amazon. Outstanding. Great series. And uh, so season two, Man in the High Castle. There's actually a uh, Tampa Bay-based company called Theory Animation that did all of the special effects work for Man in the High Castle Season 2. Kidding, and, you know, that's a, that's a company that's locally based here. They're doing stuff for Amazon because, you know, once you get into that, that space like that, you don't have to be based in L.A. or New York or, or yeah. wherever. You can, do, you can do the job from, from anywhere. But um, I digress a little bit. So, you know, the whole, the whole thing with digital distribution is now, as an independent filmmaker, if you want to put your content out there, now more than ever, you can get it out there and have people find it. And not just on YouTube. You know, a lot of people think of YouTube, but then you also get lost amongst all of the, uh, right. the cat videos and people getting <laughs> kicked in the groin videos and, and stuff like that. Uh, so, you know, so, you know, uh -huh. when, when, when you would say, hey, I've got a film that's up on Amazon or I've got a film that's up on YouTube, you know, which one do you sounds like, oh, well, you've got a film that's on Amazon. That's cool. It's, right. a, it's a little more impressive. It's a little more respectable than just sure. throwing stuff on YouTube because anybody can throw something on, on YouTube. Um, right. right. So there are, there are a bunch of companies out there. So there's this company called Distriber. That Distriber, if you're, a, if you're an indie filmmaker and you've got a film and you want to do self-distribution, mm -hmm. you basically pay them to distribute your film. You really? pay them, I think it's like $1,600, and they will uh, they submit it out to iTunes and Hulu and Google Play and Xbox and Amazon Video and, every, and everybody else, and wow. they take a look at your movie and they'll basically see if they're going to accept it or not. You know, it has to be at a certain quality level for them to accept it. And if they don't accept it, then you get a percentage of your, of your money back. Uh, if they do, then you get your film up on those platforms. So you can be on iTunes or Amazon right. Video or whatever else, which is, which is very cool. Uh, but at the same time, just because it's up there doesn't mean anybody's going to watch it right. or anybody's <laughs> going to find it. Right. Um, and there's some other, some other choices out there. There's a company called Indio. Uh, now, Indio is interesting because Indio is a company that works uh, directly with uh, normal film distributors. So you, when you think of a distribution company that's going to pick up your film and they're going to put it out to you know Amazon or theaters or whatever else, this is a company that uh, that does that. It's basically a, a dating site for films and distributors, and wow. so they've got a completely different model, um, which is which is really interesting, and it's something that you know gets you directly in front of those distributors instead of self-distributing yourself, but they also have a self-distribution option, so you can actually do it oh, that's two ways. So they have their own Indio TV where you can put your film up there and you know charge whatever you want to charge for people to, people to watch it, basically. Mm -hmm. And then they've got the, the other end, which is sort of a dating site for uh, film distributors to help film distributors find this your company great. or find your, find your film, basically. This so, is fantastic. Yeah, it's really, it's really interesting stuff. And so uh, you know, another thing, uh, Amazon Video Direct. So I met with Amazon Video Direct when I was uh, when I was in Sundance, and they're really doing some very very cool stuff. You know, they want filmmakers to know, hey, you know what? You don't have to go through a distribution company. You can just put it up here yourself. And I've talked to some people and talked to some production companies that they're putting their stuff on Amazon and they're making more money with their stuff on Amazon with a much much smaller number of people watching it 
than they were doing before with, say, millions of views on YouTube. Wow. So, and, and Amazon doesn't restrict it to just feature film or TV or anything like that. If you want to put a web series up there, you can put a web series up there. You know, if you've got a, a cooking show that's a cooking web series or, you know, you talked about the web series that Scatter Brothers is putting together, yeah. you want to do something like that, you can put it up there. And then the thing is, you know, it's on Amazon. Right. So you've got Amazon Prime members who typically, if you're a Prime member, you're, you're probably an adult with a, with a job right. and has enough money to pay for a Prime membership. You're <laughs> not a, necessarily a 12-year-old kid on YouTube just watching videos that sure. you're not going to make any money on. So, right. um, and Amazon's reach as well. You know, Amazon you know, is in the U.S. It's, in, it's expanding other countries. They're really broadening what they do. It's, it, it's really interesting what they're doing, and it's, I think, a, a very, very cool uh, model that they have, and uh, it, it gives something for people. And, and there's something else interesting that Amazon's doing as well. And I, I sound like an Amazon shill right now, you know. Like <laughs> I promise, Amazon's What's not, paying, not here? paying me to say anything. Um, so Amazon has this thing called Amazon Studios. Okay. So you're familiar. Amazon, of course, has shows like Man in the High Castle right. and Sneaky Pizza, new one that they mm -hmm. did, and they've got a variety of original Amazon shows. Well, you can actually put your uh, your idea up to Amazon Studios and see if they will pick it up for a show. Wow. Up to Amazon's. There we go, Amazon <laughs> Studios. And Get see if and here. see if they'll pick it up. So for example, um, you know, these these are show ideas that people have uh, have pitched. There are there's something like over 9,000 projects that people have put on Amazon right now. And these are their incredible. these are Amazon's notable projects, which okay. uh, shameless plug, Terminal Kill there by the way, um, is a project that I actually uh, created and developed. Um, and put that up there prior to being film commissioner uh, and back That's in the, you know, several, several years ago. And it's actually, uh, at one point, was the number one notable project out of 9,000 projects. That's on incredible. Studios. Oh it did not get picked up, so I am not a, a showrunner on a TV show on Amazon. Uh, right. But, you know, it's one of those things that if you, put, you know, if you put something up there, you will get noticed. Other people can see it right. and they can review it. And, you know, the day after I put this up, I got an email from Amazon saying, what is this? This is great. We love this. What do you have? You have more. And, and the way that this model works is you could, you could put wow. up a TV series, you could put up a feature film, you know, they're looking for kid shows, whatever you want to put up there, you get feedback and you never know, um, you know, kind of where it can go. And they're providing a lot of, you know, very cool tools for, uh, for that sort of thing. Um, you know, Vimeo is another one that uh, most, you know, most mm -hmm. people are familiar with Vimeo. Uh, yep. You know, it's a lot of, you have a lot of professionals that kind of use Vimeo to, right. to put their stuff up as opposed to, as opposed to YouTube. Uh, and Vimeo has a, a, a distribution model now, too. You know, you can go to their on-demand section, basically. Yeah, yeah. so they it's really, almost like, really you know, Vimeo is trying to be like a, uh, I guess, like a Netflix or an mm -hmm. Amazon or something like that, where you can actually charge for shows. So you can actually kind of scroll down. And it's not just, you know, indie stuff made by, you know, people who are independents don't know what they're doing. You have, you have legitimate, um, so you've got Sundance Film Festival films that are on there. Uh, you've got staff picks. You're going to have some other, uh, you know, well-distributed films that, uh, you know, that you're going to see in a lot of, a lot of different places um, starring, you know, well-known actors, just depending on, on what you're looking for. So it's really interesting what Vimeo is doing as well. So, you know, I think really the key to doing self-distribution is, you know, put it on YouTube, put it on Vimeo, put it on Amazon. Get it out in as many places as possible because the more people that see it, the more places you have it, the better opportunity you have for people to discover it. And, sure. you know, now people, it used to be the model you'd think, well, I'm going to go to a film festival and hopefully a distributor will pick up my film for me. It doesn't have to be that way anymore. You, you know, you, you can self-distribute and really do better almost than, than giving it to a distributor because all the money that comes in is yours. You don't have to give a split to the distributor then. That was my so. next question is, do you have, uh, when it comes down to the financial breakdown, say somebody gets it up on the Amazon, like your instance, yeah. uh, would you make money off of the ad hits during the movie? How would it Well, so it's, it's different for each one. So, for example, you know, Vimeo, the way that they work is, you know, it's a start selling there. You can, mm -hmm. you know, sort of set a price. I'm going to sell this for three ninety nine. I'm going to rent it for $1.99. Oh, and they wow. just keep a percentage of it. I see. Okay. Uh, same kind of thing with, with Amazon. You know, you can set it up there in two different ways. You can set it up so that, you know, on Amazon, you can, um, you can make money on watch time, where okay. basically it's on Amazon Prime. And if Prime members watch it, they pay you, I believe it's 15 cents an hour. Uh, not a lot, you know. Those are well, like so the mean. wages of the Chinese workers making our iPhones, basically. Uh, but um, Sorry, but if you get enough, pe if you get enough people watching it, then you know, then uh, then that then that yeah. adds up, basically. You know, the idea is we get thousands and thousands of hours of stuff. But you can also yeah. make it ad supported. You can also get money from uh, people buying it or renting it. So it's a little different model on each thing. You know, you go through a distributor to iTunes. Okay. You know, they have a, a dashboard. You can see how many people have bought or rented your your stuff on iTunes, and then 
Indio has a, has a similar thing where you can, and, in, and again, Indio is interesting because you can do your self-distribution, and all these are non-exclusive. So, you know, put it on Indio, put it on Amazon, put it on Vimeo, put it on all those platforms and, and get out there, and they're all non-exclusive, so you can use multiple platforms. And then, you know, try and get the regular, you know, distribution route as well while you're on these platforms. So it's, it's, an, it's a new kind of world, and I think sometimes filmmakers think, you know, just just try and get distribution. People will call my office and be like, I have a TV pilot that I made that I want to try and sell to a cable network. I was like, well, that's not going to happen. <laughs> Honestly, it's just not going to happen. It's not, it's, not the way that works. it's not the way that works. Nowadays, what you do is you put it up online, you get people to view it, you get people to see it, uh -huh. and you get it out from there, basically. Okay. The old, that old sort of thought process doesn't exist anymore. So I've rambled wow. on enough about, uh, about self-distribution. Now, hopefully you've learned, and hopefully you've learned something today as well. <laughs> I have. We've all learned There's something hope. today. There's hope. There's hope. There's a lot of hope for the filmmaker out there.